The lightsaber is among the most famous weapons in sci-fi movies. It's used by the Jedi warriors in Star Wars, and with its colors and characteristic sound, was part of the dreams of a whole generation of fans. A lightsaber could cut through almost any type of material and gives an almost magical power. For this reason, everyone would like to have one. Can the technology of today be used to create a lightsaber or which problems humans still have to solve? The lightsaber in Star Wars is essentially made out of two parts, the handle and the blade, and it's very difficult for science to replicate it. The actual scientific knowledge make it especially hard to form the blade, which is approximately one meter long. It could not be made with a laser focused by crystals, because to do so, we should be able to stop light in a defined shape, and moreover, solid, to allow the fights. At the moment, we know that light can be reflected, refracted, or absorbed, but we are not able to stop it. Therefore, a laser beam emitted from the sword would continue until infinity. But whenever a new technology should manage to stop light, there remain the problem of giving hardness to the sword. Without that, the swords would cross each other in the fight, instead of crushing each other, without even considering the amount of heat that would be emitted from such a sword, and that would make it even less useful. The actual hypothesis to recreate a Jedi sword is to use plasma in place of the laser. That means a gas heated to million Celsius degrees in which atomic structures would be lost as it happens inside the sun. Together with the solid, liquid and the gas state, plasma is the fourth state of matter formed by ionized atoms and free electrons. The atomic fusion experiments completed in the previous years demonstrated that it's possible to give a shape to plasma, as it happens in the tokamak, where huge magnets keep it in a circular shape. All these can be useful to recreate the sword of Star Wars, but to power the sword and generate the plasma, science needs to find an efficient way to create energy that we still don't know today. Actually, the system that we could build today would be so big that would not fit in the handle. But the discovery of new materials and the study of nanotechnology would allow us to organize structures on an atomic level and to greatly increase the surface area of a battery, which could let us produce enough energy to fuel the sword. To avoid the loss of control of the plasma, the energy might be then focalized with a magnetic field, and a telescopic system of high temperature resistant material could give the consistency for the fights. Considering the temperature of the plasma, a lot of training would then be needed to learn how to use them and avoid hurting yourself. Until now, the lightsaber has not become a reality, and science still has to solve some problems to be able to build it, among those, principally, the construction of an energy source. But for the moment we could at least start the training, using neon lamps. Share the video, and if you want, let me know in the comments which sci-fi invention would you want to have. That would become the topic of the next video.